<laughs> Where'd you see that? That's a trick. That's amazing. Uh, I don't know if I saw it or if I just, just was just playing. I was just, whoa, there's a harmonic there. And I just did it once. And then I think I did it on That's like incredible. Instagram or something. And people were like, whoa, dude. <laughs> no, yeah. and like, like, a little claim I mean, to fame. I, just, and I yeah. got like 500 likes. And I was like, OK, that's my new thing. <laughs> hey, I'm Dan Canner, and welcome to Guitars in Hand. Today, I sit down with Ian Thornley from Big Rec. And he teaches me about open tunings and how they inspire him to create. If you like what you see, please comment, subscribe, like, and share. All right, here we go. Dave was telling me that for uh, Gray Street, you had some like really cool recording techniques. Are you talking a mountaintop thing? Yeah, yeah, that's that was that, cool. Yeah, what is that? That was a Garth. A lot of his stuff is inspired by Garth. His his trick bag is tremendous. <laughs> yeah. But one of the things was in the song, uh, All My Fears, it was sort of a, we were going for that kind of a... <laughs> we were going for that yeah. sort of swirling Leslie sound. Yeah. Which I remembered seeing or hearing somewhere that, that Gilmore just brought the Leslie into the middle of the big room at Abbey Road, and then they set up mics everywhere. I think Garth and I were riffing on that, just sort of talking about it. And I was like, well, I want that riff to have that sort of vast thing, that spread. And he's like, well, we'll just do it outside. So, what? Yeah. So his studio is based like on the top of a mountain, kind of. It's in Gibson's BC. Cool. And so we pulled the Leslie out uh -huh. and just started putting mics like you know, 50 feet, 50, <laughs> 50 yards rather, in the woods, like pointed at the Leslie. And, and over here, there's bears. For real. Yeah. I, I'm a city guy. I'm just like, right. I'm in, I'll be inside. And it does give you a spread. I don't know if it gets lost on the MP3 in your, in your earbuds, but... Uh, when you crank that thing in a control room, it's 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 quite a thing. And yeah. then of course we did the solo through that too. I, I did a couple passes of the solo, and then I think Garth put them both together, and he was like, he turned around, give me the look, like right, the <laughs> solo doubled. I'm like, this is literally a mountaintop guitar solo, like, dude. And <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And, yeah, but that's literally what this is. Is that you can't have two dudes at the top of the mountain. <laughs> and then Garth corrected me so quickly. He's like. You can if they're back to back. Right, I was like, right. oh, well played. Yeah, uh, two guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. In goes those bends. Can you show me some of those? You bend notes that I don't even know are bendable. Yeah. Well, any you can bend anything to a, a scale tone or a yeah, chord tone. But just like in a pentatonic scale. Yeah, you can bend you them You bend, all. I mean, notes that I don't like, know. Let's say, let's say we're in C. C? Yeah. You know that one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's just album. Yeah. And then the, the Gilmore. Yeah. That's a Gilmore one. Or... Whoa, where are you? Okay, slow down. <laughs> so, up to the fifth. And up to the seventh. Yeah, they're all. That's crazy. They're all. I mean, it sounds like you're playing a slide, but not playing a slide. I mean, I do a lot of that. I can. You know? yeah. Um, that's David Gilmore likes. Yeah, that, that's and that's good. all those are great for just expression and just to, just getting at a note. You doing like outs? Doing all this kind of like all playing all around it, but I still yeah. hear the. I still hear pentatonic stuff. Yeah. I still hear it. That's always home base, and I think it is for a lot of guitar players. Yeah, because it's like that's when you first start. You learn this. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. I'm soloing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you learn there's there's another one. Then you yeah. you learn another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the, yeah, so though you start putting all these things together, home base is still going to so be. Bad. Yeah. Do you play so maybe, um, like acoustic? Like blues, bass, lead, same time. Did you learn all uh, of that? Yeah, like I as mean, a finger picker. Yeah, yeah, I have. When I do bluesier things, it's just I'm doing them as a, I'm borrowing from it, um, as a seasoning. 
Yeah. You know, as opposed to doing that meal. Yeah. Um, well said. And I've been asked about a lot, like why, why, why don't you do a, a real blues record, or uh-huh. a slide record? Yeah. And, and you know, I I practice slide very little. New I've been I've been messing with yeah. this one on on fretted guitar, and it seems to almost sound like the pitch <laughs> dips below the, where it's supposed to be. Like there's your pitch, but normally, we, which yeah. goes up. And then, but if you do, it almost sounds like it yeah. goes below. And I'm, I just can't stop doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll play some slide. Where'd you see that? That's trick. That's amazing. Uh, I don't know if I saw it or if I just, just was just playing. I was just, whoa, there's a harmonic there. And I just did it once. And then I think I did it on that's like incredible. Instagram or something. People were like, whoa, dude. <laughs> no, yeah. I was like, like a little claim I mean, to fame. I, just, and I yeah. got like 500 likes. And I was like, OK, that's my new thing. That's <laughs> and it's something that anybody, guitar guy or not, you can say, oh, listen to that. Yeah, that's amazing. I've never dared trucks do that. Right, for instance, is one of those guys. He'll grab like this. That kind of thing. And there's something really vocal about that. Yeah. And I mean, there's a... That kind of thing, I'm just... Oh, cool. I mean, I still kind of... I'm putting a record together. I'm like, okay, we got to have a slide solo in there. Yeah. Just because of Albatross, you know? Oh my god. And I gosh. never really I, I never Albatross. really thought of it that way. Two solo two slide solos yeah. in Albatross. Yeah. But I never really looked at it. That was whatever the song, you know. I, and I guess every record essentially. Yeah, has, has has and I never thought about it until Albatross. What was uh, the first guitar you ever got? Um, it was an acoustic. Yeah, do it you remember a, the make? It was a Fender acoustic, uh-huh. you know, like a low end kind of. Um, and and once I discovered open tunings, it was. Yeah, so where did that come from? I mean, um, I think it just I started started with open G. I think it, like with anybody, it's usually the first, the easiest one. Mm-hmm. And then um, I think I did it my, on my on my own. I think I just. <laughs> that and then went and then I was like well that's pretty massive <laughs> yeah. but it can also be like oh, it just gives you a different yeah like having that having open strings ring out so you weren't learning songs that had open tunings you were just being creative I would um yeah, that's kind of how it started. I'd never really learn a whole song the whole way through. Yeah. I'd learn the parts that I wanted to learn, you know? Yeah. Go, going to the Country by um, Bruce Coburn was, was one of the nice. first ones. That was a finger picker first. Oh, right. Really? I was at my right hand, and I just kept dropping the pick in the sound hole. So I was like, yeah. to hell with that. Um, yeah, I didn't really start using the pick until I got to college. So from your acoustic, what was the first electric guitar that you got? Um... I think it was a Squire, or, or no, an Ibanez Roadstar, a red one. And I and I'd actually I would plug it into my my stereo. I sort of inherited the the old family. Um, it was a Marantz amp with a yeah. cassette player or something like that. And um, I, I figured out how to plug the guitar into it. And then I figured all I needed was to save up enough for a distortion pedal and it'd be fine. Yeah. yeah. You know, which is really not the case. But I yeah. think the first pedal I got was a delay pedal. And it was just like, oh, yeah. listen yeah. to this. Yeah. You know, that is, it just changes everything. Oh, cool.
See, I thought that was a slide my whole life. And I've seen you lie. I, just, That's my favorite I must have been headbanging too hard. So when you're writing, do you find open tuning like helps you be creative? Yeah. Like if you're in a block, you just... Yeah. 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 I mean, uh, yeah. Big time. Yeah. And oftentimes, like... Um, I have pet tunings where I'll start there and then start. And then you just, just go. You just go, yeah. How many guitars do you tour with to do this? It depends. Depends. Set. Set, yeah. And are you using different strings for different? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, These are like 13 to 54. Yeah. And usually I'm 11 to 48 or 49 on a, on a half step down. Half step down. The first record, we didn't use a tuner. Wow. I would get it close. Yeah. Like, I, I just, you know, I would, it would be in tune from a few days ago, whatever guitar I was using, and then I would tune to whatever yeah. tuning the song was in, and then Dave would tune to me, and Forrest would get the click from, you know, we'd have a click, and then they would turn the click off and we'd count it in. So the time goes like this. Oh, wow. And the pitch goes like that, too, which I think is... That's really It just cool. feels a little more human. We tried to yeah. we, we tried to mimic a lot of that. Not mimic, but sort of take that approach on this last record. There's a lot more. I mean, tuning for me is a bit of a... Yeah. I, I want that stuff to be in and tight, but... We should talk about your our signature guitar. That's sure. super cool. Yeah. So what do you got? Yeah, what is it? Well, I wanted a guitar that, that sonically I can cover a lot of ground with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, anything from the, the cleaner sort of stratty sounds to the more muscular kind of Les Paul sounds. So that sort of thing, right? Yeah. And then for the chorus, you just want... But of course you would change, yeah. go click and the eject button. And so you have, uh, and then a the flick of the switch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then in the middle, which is a sound that I've been using a lot in the last sort of five, six, maybe 10 years, is both guys, like on the last ball that. Oh, that puts, not the middle pickup, that puts. Yeah, no, it skips this. Okay. And it goes right to these two guys. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. It's wired yeah, to it's, do that. Yeah, it's a super switch, and I don't know. They're, oh, that's a... Yeah, no, there's a lot. Because I never, I mean, I was talking about the middle pickup, but when I, I mean, just for Grateful Dead stuff, but when I'm playing, I'm always just In like... the middle position? No, never. Like, oh. Like the first two. Okay. I'd love to skip the middle. Yeah. yeah. Well, I Crazy. don't know how they do it, but they do they it. They do it, yeah. And everything on the guitar is also hum canceling, which is big for me. Yeah. There's no hum, there's no 60 cycle. Going down the line here, now we got, I think it's these two? Yeah. And that, that's your sort of... That. Yeah. You know, like, how's that sound? And then, so you got your just the neck pickup? Yeah. So initially we wanted to do a push-push pot yeah. to split the coils. Yeah. And I just found when we were going back and forth um, that these pickups, when they were split, were just too, uh, too, too quiet. Mm -hmm. There's too much of a drop in volume. It just kind of, it just covers a lot of ground, and it feels and plays like butter. I bet. Yeah. Stays in tune. It's dead quiet. Yeah. You know, and looks badass. It looks so, great. Know, I can't yeah. really complain. That's I'm just thrilled. I'm just thrilled. But like, I don't know how many of them they're gonna make or how many they anticipate on selling. I'm just like, <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. As long as I got a sure couple, I'm good to go. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like, um, but yeah, it just, it's just—it's the kind of thing you never dream of, you know. Yeah. Uh, Every part. What of amps it. are you playing through? Source. Oh, as well. Nice. Yeah, how long it. have you? I didn't know he made. It's got to be uh, yeah, tremendous amps. But there's one amp in particular called a Hedgehog, which uh -huh. I sh I should have brought one because you'd get a kick out of it. Yeah. It's just the most muscular, 50 watt. Smooth, creamy, but still got a, a bit light. of a, a bit of a temper, and yeah. it, it's just yeah, and just clean to dirty. There's just a little click, click. You're good to go. Yeah. Um, cool. And, and the and the PT 100. That's the Pete Thorne signature amp, and I use that live. Those two amps. Oh, you go right on. Um, and in the studio, a whole bunch too. Yeah. Like it was, you just have a few things to choose from. 
I still go back to little guys, though. I still go back to exactly. those little little amps. Yeah. It's my little secret weapon is just like, how does that guitar sound so huge? It's like because the amp's only that big. Yeah. For little guys. And because you're not choking the hell out of this, the microphone. I yeah. think. I mean, yeah, I don't yeah. know. But I have this theory that the microphone's not going, ah! Or take your huge sound and make it that small. It's taking this tiny sound and hearing all of it. Yeah. And then you just like well one said. there and one there. And just, ah, this wall of... <laughs> The biggest guitar sounds. I stole yeah. it from Gordy Johnson. That was his. Oh, trick. nice. Yeah, like, oh my God, I have hearing that. damage from him. Yeah. Yeah. I think he does too. I'm sure he does. I saw a show when I was a teenager, like in the front row, and I heard, I heard, didn't hear anything but guitar. Yeah. No drums, vocals. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, he was. Killer. He was in on that. The whole machismo. I play 13. I play 14s. He said. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? And his action was even higher than mine. Yeah, I played Dude. a G string. I played a. I couldn't even like fret a yeah. G chord on his guitar. I was I just, the, I was, the worst when he gets you up at the end of the night, you know. <laughs> yeah, you Come don't on, have your own guitar. The jam and we'll play Joe Lewis for an hour. And it's like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, okay, and you know what I mean. Yeah. It's, it's it's playing telephone wire. It's insane. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the other episodes. If you like what you see, please comment, subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.